Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video i'll talk about for the very first time houdini and today i'll teach you how to create this amazing renders inside of this software so this will be a lot of fun without wasting any time let's get started right now guys we are in houdini and guys let me tell you something very important that this is houdini software as we all know that this is a very critical software to learn so don't skip the video i suggest you watch it completely okay so let's jump in the tutorial so when you open houdini for the very first time it will look something like that now we have to set up our project settings like project file like same like maya and max so first of all let me tell you some very basic scratch something which is very really important for this tutorial so this is a viewport as you can see this is like a normal move tool rotation scale this kind of toolbar here and this area is like like polygons modification model deformation texture rigging something like it's almost look like cinema 4d and some this area is exactly feel like maya and this area is all about lighting collisions particles gain volume so many things you can do rigging simulations so many stuffs as well this area is all about parameters like if you have any nodes you can make their parameters here as well this area is completely dedicated to their node graph areas like nuke and others node based softwares as like okay so now we have to create our file so from go to file we have to take our new project so just click the new project this window will pop up here so i'm making it the new mean like tutorial and we have to change the path from just click here it will go something here and now we have to change our path from this area now in this area i want to save my file so just rename the file name to like stick around tutorial and then just press accept so on this path the project file will be saved here so this area is just leave it something like that then just press accept so now the project file is created successful but we have to save our this setup file so just from file file save as now you have to go to again your that same file location which we want to save your file so i just have to go that file this is my new tutorial file just double click double click and then you have to rename it like main and then just press accept so now you have successfully set up your houdini file so this is the very first step which you have to do when you launch houdini and you start working okay so now in this video i'll just talk about that how to create this kind of renders so this is looks so realistic them cubes and all okay so let's start with some very first scratch okay so now you have to create a very good geometry here and in this area you just left click and also you can press tab and then you can search like geometry and then just place click now this area you can place it anywhere just click here so this this is a geometry folder or you can call it geometry node inside of this whatever you have to create it will create inside of this node so just double click here it will go inside now see this is obj which is our geometry when you click this obj it will go back and when you click double click here it will go inside of the geometry now you can rename it just double click here i'm renaming it like a geo let's take around geo underscore and then like main so this will be our main geo and double click now in this area we have to create the other stops so press tab here i'm taking a grid from here grid and then just press okay so now press it something here so this will be our grid setup here as you see it's same like normal other 3d softwares now we have to increase our this rows from like 10 i'm making it like 200 by 200 now i'm making it 200 but later i'll increase these values so don't worry about that now like all other softwares we have to take our uv projection map so just click in this button so this will be our output node now this grid don't have any input node so when you click this area you can see one node pipe will be popped up here just left click it will release now you have to take by pressing tab i'm taking like uv and click this uv project and click anywhere of the scene and now you can see this red mark will be popped up here now this is the output this is the input and this is also output so it means this output should connect with this input so just drag and connect with this now there is no changes here now in this panel you can see this many boxes are here as well so when you move here it can like display the render and this is a selectable option so just click this one so this will be rendered as display as well and this is like selection now the see that this option will exactly view in this view panel okay so now to check it like it's exactly working properly or not you just have to go to the perspective and from set view you just have to the uv view map so now you can see the entire viewport is completely fit on this viewport okay so now fine we have to go to this viewport set to perspective viewport again okay so the base area is completely done now we have to do the next step 
In the next step, you just have to click this output node and just release it and press tab here. And you can find this attribute panel here. And in this attribute panel, you have just to click this attribute from the map. So just click here. So it will automatically connect with this one. Okay, so this will be our attribute for map. So now what happened, we are taking information for another image. Okay, so in this panel, we have to take our textures. So this is our textures channel and this is your texture map. So in this area, you have to import your exact image which you want to use to extrude those amazing cube boxes. So just just click here and you have to click this HIP just click here so it will automatically connect all together so now what happened you are inside of your project file so just let's make it to bigger and you have to find the txt folder here as well so now you have find this is your txt folder just double click you will find your textures here I already have imported this texture on this folder before starting this tutorial now click in these two panels so that you can see exactly how your image will look like on projecting on this card so okay those the basic steps are completely done now you have to go forward in the next step we have to take another node called attribute create so just drag and just press tab and from this attribute you can find this attribute create options here as well so just click this attribute create option so that it will come here something like that so just click this node and just click in this two panel so that this will be visible here as well and now you have to increase some settings from here now in this image I want to extrude the blue value but if you want to change any other value I'll show you how you can do that so first of all if you notice there is a name called like attribute 0 one so let's change it to like color scale this name is very much important for the rest of the parts as well so when you click in this middle portion in this middle mouse you can exactly find this is a three point attribute which is cd and one vertex attribute which is uv which is this one uv project and this color scale as you can see color scale is flt which is this one as i mentioned it like color scale okay so the next step is all about how we want to extrude and which color you want to extrude so just click here and now in this value panel i just have to select this and just by pressing shift and by pressing four i just have this dollar button and then just press c and now if you want to extrude the blue value you just have to click the B so it means color blue if you want to import like a red value then CR so it will be a red value so in this case I'm importing the B for color B so just click and, and release it in anywhere so now what happened in this green panel as you can see the only color blue will be extrude and the wherever the blue information is there it, based on this image format it will automatically extrude it okay so now what we have to do we have to take another node just click and release it by pressing tab I'm taking like poly extrude yes so this will be extrude your model completely just click here so now what happened just click these two panels now you can find you can have this options here as well now you have to play with this so just increase the distance to something like that so now what happened if you can see these polys are extruded now this is divided into like content components so we have to make it individual elements so just click here so what happened it will calculate now all the boxes as individual components so after applying the distance value, you have to go to this local controls and you will find this distance scale. So just turn this on. Now go back to this attribute create. We have to change one settings from here, which is the class. So let's change the point to let's take around primitive and from name, just select and control C. So just have to copy this, go back to this poly extrude and then select this and control V. So now what happened, we pasted the same information on this one as well. Then release it in anywhere so that you will find these pixels are started extruding based on their blue color informations. Now, this is the time where I can increase the grid divisions value. Now go back to this grid one and I'm increasing the row value 200 to 800. So let's increase it from 200 to 800. Now after increasing the rows and column values, it will look something like that. Now you can increase it more based on your CPU and GPU. Now you have to find your basic camera pose where you want to export this. So in this case, I'm selecting this much area, which is very good enough for exporting. Now all the setups are completely done. Now go back to this OBJ. Now you have to export this. For export, we need another export rendering engine node, which will be come from OBJ and inside of this output one. So select the output one. This will come as an empty. Then just press tab here and you will type like mantra. So the mantra is Houdini's inbuilt rendering engine which is very good and it will create so much good rendering just click this one mantra and release it in here so this is your Houdini rendering engine where you can exactly find these many options which is by default I'll come later because what is exactly it is there is so many options here now we have to go back to our OBJ and we have to create our camera from this view from this no cam you just have to click this new camera just click this one so you can find the camera will automatically come here now let's rename this camera to like render cam 
and it will something like that okay now the render cam is here if you find this many options like transform render view and sampling this is a very simple options okay so now you have to apply a material and also a light but before doing material you have to create our light so from here environmental light just select drag and drop into here so now you can find this is your environmental light node and you can import your environment map like HDRI but in this case I am not importing any HDRI because I want to use the sky environment map. The environment map is giving you very good example of light just turn this on and you will find this light see it's suddenly getting dark because the light is very much less so just increase the light value to let's take around 35 now you can see this is so much light is here now let's check once the render how it will look like so from this render view you just have to select your render cam and you have to turn on this one by default it will turn off like this you just have to turn this on so it will become your IPR render and then just simply press this render button okay so the render is started right now and as you can see the render is looking so much like this and if you click and hold anywhere of the screen the rendering will start on that area as well now this have no material applied here so you have to go to this material palette from here and you have to find this generic material which is like principal shader so just select this one and drag and drop into this one then double click here and you will find the surface opacity textures bump and normal displacement and settings just go to the surface value in this case I'm increasing the surface like specular basic value reflection reflection metallic and reflectivity as well so I'm just increasing the metallic value to full one and roughness value to a little bit higher and also a reflective tint value a little bit higher like this now how to apply this on the screen this is very easy just cross this one go back to the scene view and then just select this one and drag and drop into here something like that that's it guys now I have to go to again render view and let's check once again after applying the material how the render views look like just press the render button after applying the material the renders look like something this and it's so much natural and the reflectivity values are also very good so I think this much lighting setup is good enough now guys you have to play with this all the settings to get a more good result but in this case I'm just only showing you the process of how to you can do this and all okay so after that just cross this one we have few settings left that is called depth of field so now to apply the depth of field you just have to go back to your output one select this mantra which is your rendering panel where you can find this many options like image rendering object script and driver so inside of this rendering panel you will find this enable depth of field just turn this on and then start your rendering so now after applying the depth of field the rendering is started now go back to your camera from this obj select the render cam and inside of sampling value you will find this focus distance and f stop so let's decrease the f stop to let's take around one and it will start blurring see when you click and hold this areas will start at blurring then change the focus distance to let's take around four so now what happened this area is started blurring and somewhere in some areas are started in focus now see this complete area is out of focus but this area is sometimes in focus we have to increase it so let's take around 4.5 so that this focus area will be changed so in this case this area is started in focus and the rest of the parts are in out of focus so i have to change the focus distance to 5.5 so from here 5.5 and now as you can see this area is completely in focus and this area is out of focus okay so now if you find this area is very much jittering in fact so much noise so how to fix this we just have to go to this output mantra and from here we will find this pixel samples now guys let me tell you one thing if you increase the pixel sample value the rendering time will be taking so longer so just increase the sample value for this case 15 by 15 now if you notice just click and hold this area is not giving so much jittering like previously it started with bokeh effect and also a smooth rendering process as well and guys as you can see the render is just now started and when the complete render will be done it can be look like something this so guys i hope you really enjoyed this short simple and super sexy tutorial from houdini for the very first time on my channel vfx world and if you really love this tutorial then don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe our channel vfx world and press the bell button for more notification if you still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all in the description box below guys i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world